they were victims of one of the worst crimes of our age. They were victims of one of the worst crimes of our age. Almost everywhere I went in Turkey, the refrain of official denial was the same. Turkey goes to great lengths to deny there was a genocide. It is a story of massacre and betrayal. The Armenians were a threatened minority in Ottoman Turkey. They were prosperous, Christians with a distinct and separate culture. Down the generations, survivor stories are passed on. America was the Armenians' land of hope. Driven from their ancient homeland, they found shelter here. Rahan Kachian was a young girl when she arrived in New York. She'd witnessed the destruction of her family by Turkish troops. In Turkey, we fight for our lives. Uh, they're going to kill you or they're going to take you. But when... Uh, uh, I came to the United States, everybody, they don't afraid to walk in the street. The Armenians who reached Ellis Island were the lucky few. Army soldiers, they went after him. And they killed him and they cut his old head off. We, we took the head and we cried. And with our hands, we dig the ground, we bury him. Travel to the land from which the Armenians were driven and you hear a different history. For the Turks, no less than the Armenians, are haunted by the past. Of wanting to eradicate a whole group of people because of who they are and these are people that we've lived together for hundreds of years. It's absolutely incorrect, inaccurate and we feel very insulted. Almost everywhere I went in Turkey, the refrain of official denial was the same. There is in this battle for truth a vital American connection. A man revered by Armenians. The American ambassador here in Istanbul, Henry Morgenthau, gathered together evidence of massacre and rape and passed it on to the State Department in Washington. He was basing his reports on evidence being sent in from missionaries around the country. Here's just one example of the kind of thing he was being told. There appears, in short, to be a steady policy to exterminate these people. One example of the kind of thing he was being told, being told, being told, told, told. He was basing his reports on evidence being sent in from missionaries, on evidence from missionaries, evidence, evidence, evidence. The militant nationalists who ruled Turkey in 1915 had long regarded the Armenians as a treacherous minority. It was the entry of Turkey into World War I which created the conditions in which they could be removed. Some Armenian nationalists had sided with the invading Russians, an entire people were declared enemies. They came the daily misfortunes of this devoted people. 
I am confident that the whole history of the human race contains no such horrible episode as this. Armin Wagner was a medical officer in the German army. He wrote, I was seized by terror, overcome by dizziness, as if the earth were collapsing on both sides of me into an abyss. One of the few Turkish historians to challenge the official view says the state used starvation as well as execution to kill the Armenians. On the way, they began to be attacked not just by spontaneously operating bandits, but by uh, death squads and vengeful vindictive tribes organized by the Unionists' special organization. In other words, the government's agents. The government's agents. For the first time in the 20th century, cattle trucks would be used to carry people to desolation. Turkey points to its archives as proof that there's no written evidence of genocide. No piece of paper which says, kill the Armenians. But amid the millions of files in the Ottoman archives lies a remarkable document. Agreed by the cabinet in late spring 1915, it is a piece of paper ordering the deportation of the Armenian population. Men, women and children were designated a threat to state security. The Turkish government has allowed the church to fall into ruin. It's perhaps too uncomfortable a reminder of a vanished people. Whereas did you learn at school about how the Armenians were massacred? Did you learn any of that? We never heard anything like that. We never heard anything bad about the Armenians at school. We were told they were advanced technologically and in human rights and things like that. They were a civilized people. I went to school for 11 years and never heard anything bad about Armenians. For 85 years, the Armenians have campaigned to have the genocide acknowledged. Each new generation is taught the stories of 1915. It is a national obsession, born of loss and frustration. Genocide, it's with us, in the schools, in the churches, in the families. On the way, they were attacked by bandits and Turkish troops and policemen. The Ottoman government did not have the intention of killing those 450,000 Armenians who were being relocated. I have no doubts whatsoever that they were responsible. They were conscious, they were deliberate, they knew what they were doing. Bands of Armenian rebels attacked Turkish civilians and committed atrocities. When the Ottomans recaptured Van, the entire Armenian population was targeted. They only had themselves to blame, one Ottoman leader said. Central to the Armenian case are America's own historical records. The documents sent by the American ambassador warning that Armenians were being exterminated. The uh, diplomatic files are so extensive and so thorough uh, that we base our knowledge of the Armenian genocide in the main on what the American diplomats reported. The West has traditionally encouraged Armenia and then not been there when they need help. Um, so there's, there's no reason why they shouldn't feel betrayed. They were betrayed. <laughs> 